Welcome to Automate. Here's its main screen, displaying the automated tasks, called flows, that's stored on the device. A few examples are already included, but let's create a new one. Click the plus icon to do so. This is the flowchart where we'll create our automated task. It always starts at a beginning block, so one has already been added for us. Let's make a flow which perform an action when you enter or exit a geographical location. To do so we need to add a location at block. Click the plus icon, and you'll find it in the location category, then click it to add it to the flowchart. With a second block added, we can connect the two. Drag the go dot to the in dot. When a task is running, it will evaluate each block along the paths of connected dots, choosing which to take, based on the outcome of a block. We'll add more blocks later. Let's configure the new block first. Click it to show its configuration screen. This is the configurable options of the location at block. The proceed option, common to many blocks, determine when a block is complete, and the flow will resume. If set to immediately, the flow will proceed without pause through the yes path, if you're currently at the location, or the no path if you're not. We should set it to when changed, which will make the flow pause until you enter the location, when it'll resume through the yes path, or through no when you leave. The input arguments of a location at block specify the coordinates of the location and its surrounding area. A field can be set to a constant, typed in manually. A value that's evaluated at runtime, by clicking the FX icon, then typing the expression, which may include variables and functions. Or, as we'll do now, pick the location on a map, to fill them with constants automatically. A block can have lots of fields, most can usually be left empty, as responsiveness has been here. The documentation for a block is readily available by clicking the question mark icon. Click the save button to return to the flowchart. Our flow should also do something, like decreasing the ringer volume when you enter the location and increase it when you leave. For that, we'll need to add two audio volume set blocks. You'll find it in the camera and sound category. We'll connect those blocks as well and configure them. Let's start with the one connected to the yes path. This block is connected to the yes path, which the flow takes when you enter the location. We'll make it change the volume of the audio stream for the ringer to 50%. We should also configure the other block, connected to the no path, which the flow takes when you leave the location. We'll make it reset the volume of the ringer audio stream back to 100%. Almost done. We just need to connect the OK dots on both audio volume set blocks to the in dot on the location at block. This will keep the flow running until the next time you enter or exit the location. Otherwise it would stop, as it'll do when reaching an unconnected dot. Our automated task is finally finished. Click the back button. This is the detail screen for our newly created flow. Give it a name by clicking the title. Click the start button to launch the flow, and grant automate the system privileges it'll need to run it. Our automated task is now running, and the ringer volume should change the next time you enter or exit the location. You'll see the flow progressing in the log, or if an error occurred, which could be due to a misconfigured block. If you find it difficult or tedious creating flows, then check out the in-app community, which contain thousands, created by other users. Thanks for watching.